ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் யூடியூப் சேனல் பூமி வேர்ல்ட் ஹோப் எவ்ரி ஒன் இஸ் டூயிங் குட் இன் அவர் லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் ஃபோல்டர் கிரியேஷன் அண்ட் வாட் இஸ் ப்ராசஸ் வாட் இஸ் காம்பனண்ட் அண்ட் காம்பனண்ட் எக்ஸ்ப்ளோரர் ஓவர் வியூ ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் இஃப் யூ ஹேவ் அண்ட் வாட்ச் மை லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ ப்ளீஸ் கோ அண்ட் செக் இட் அவுட் நோ ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் ஷேப்ஸ் ஸோ ஆஸ் ஐ செட் ஏர்லியர் ப்ராசஸ் கண்டென்ட் சீரீஸ் ஆஃப் ஷேப்ஸ் so by using shapes only we can build one integration or process so first of all we can look into what is shapes and how shapes are classified in bhumi yeah what is shape so a process is a series of steps represented by shapes shapes determines how the process retrieves manipulates and routes and sends data from source system to target system In Bhumi, shapes are classified into four types. Special shapes, execute shapes, logical shapes and connector shapes. We can discuss one by one clearly. So what is special shape? So special shape is nothing but the start shape. So this is the main shape that begins the every process flow. It is automatically added to each new process and it cannot be removed. And next we have execute shapes. So execute shapes are used to manipulate the data or transform the data. Execute shapes includes map shape, set property shape, message shape, notify shape, program command shape, process call shape, process route shape, data process shape, find changes shape, add to cache, retrieve from cache and remove from cache. We can discuss all these shapes in future videos. and next we have logical shapes logical shapes are used to control the flow of the data so logical shapes includes branch shape route shape clean shape decision shape exception shape stop shape written document shape flow control business rule shape try catch shape and next we have connector shapes Connector shapes are used to get data into the process or send data out of the process which means if you want to get or send data from any third party application or local repositories applications we can use connector shape to connect the third party application we have two types of connectors available in bhumi to connect any third party application or any specific organizations which are connector shapes and then trading partner connector so first we'll look into connector shapes so as i said connector shapes are used to get data into the process or send data out of the process by using any one of the applications or technology connectors so i told application or technology connectors right so, yeah so connectors are again classified into three types uh one is application connectors technology connectors and then custom connectors so what is application connector what is technology connector and what is custom connectors now we'll look into it application connectors provides connectivity to specific software applications uh which means uh, browser based applications such as sap amazon salesforce success factor etc technology connectors now technology connectors so what is technology connectors so technology connectors provides connectivity to web applications or common repositories using various protocols such as http jms ftp sftp database disk etc and custom connectors so custom connectors are nothing but our own connections which means we can develop our connector with the help of sdk and java vms we can develop and deploy these custom connectors as well so these are the different types of connectors in bhumi so we have more than 100 predefined connectors are available and next we can talk about trading partner connect so trading partner connectors are used to connect to any specific organizations to get data into the process or send data out of the process i am telling here to connect the any specific organization so while building edi integrations we can use these trading partner connectors 
yeah that's it for today's video from next video onwards we can discuss each shape clearly with some real time scenarios if you have any doubts or suggestions on this video please let me know in comment section if you like my video please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get all notifications whenever i post a new video thank you all see you in my next video until then bye bye